The Great Lakes of North America are a source of essential resources for the United States and Canada, providing food, water, jobs, and recreation in their surrounding area. But just south of the lakes in the Mississippi River system swims a horde of Asian carp, a fish threatening to spread into the lakes and bring with it extensive damage to the native ecosystems and dependent economies. Without public intervention, the Asian carp will grow beyond our control. In 1973, President Nixon signed the Clean Water Act, part of the law aimed to clean water treatment and aquaculture systems in the southern United States. Scientists introduced the Asian carp, primarily plankton feeders, from Southeast Asia as biological control to stunt growth of algae populations in our water systems. However, flooding and treatment facilities allowed the fish to escape into the Mississippi River and spread to the connecting Illinois and Missouri rivers. Since then, Asian carp have become more of a problem than a solution. The Asian carp is considered an invasive species, meaning they are not native to their location and will likely spread. The big head carp, the black carp, the grass carp, and the silver carp are the species of Asian carp that have become invasive in the United States, inhabiting waters across 45 states. The Asian carp invasion has caused a number of negative environmental, economic, and social impacts that affect both the natural ecosystem and the human community. Invasive species are often introduced to environments without a clear understanding of their potential impact. In this case, Asian carp outcompete native species of fish for plankton, their primary food source. Contrary to the belief that their introduction would help to control the number of pests, Asian carp wipe out non-target organisms like native freshwater mussels. Perhaps most importantly, experts worry that these fish will breach the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canals to enter the Great Lakes and disrupt the area's $7 billion annual fishing industry. These problems may be imperceptible at first glance, but the fish have observable effects on humans too. Their propensity for jumping out of the water at the sound of a boat motor poses a threat of physical harm to industrial and recreational boaters. There have been multiple large-scale efforts to control the ever-growing Asian carp population. In 2009, the Illinois Department of Natural Resources attempted using a fish poison called rotenone in an effort to curb their spread. The use of poisons are detrimental to many species, including humans, and their negative effects are difficult to track and control. In the fall of 2010, President Obama started the Asian Carp Regional Coordinating Committee to create a sustainable Asian Carp control program aimed at protecting the Great Lakes ecosystem. Fencing has been one effective tool in stopping their spread. An electric barrier located in the Illinois River sends a current across the water that prevents fish from migrating into the Great Lakes. This solution, while successful, is very expensive to maintain. The best solution would have been early detection and removal of the Asian carp. However, at this stage, restricting proliferation is difficult, especially for aquatic species such as Asian carp. The most viable option for controlling the species, in addition to continuing to fund the electric barriers that protect the Great Lakes, is to adapt to the changing ecosystem by utilizing the large population of fish to our advantage. In China, Asian carp are a staple food source. The fish are naturally high in protein and do not contain antibiotics. In the United States, they are available for consumers at local fisheries located along the Mississippi, Missouri, and Illinois rivers. The existing industry centered around catching and eating the fish could grow to appeal to more American consumers, especially to those local to areas populated by Asian carp. Besides food, Asian carp can also be used as alternative sources for organic fertilizer and biofuel. The unresolved issue of Asian carp poses an undeniable threat to the Great Lakes region that is a nationwide concern. Action must be taken to protect native aquatic species, water quality, and the United States fishing industries. Individuals can make a positive difference starting in their homes by eating and using Asian carp as other resources to keep the Great Lakes free of the fish. <laughs>